Hello. I'm going to show you how we make the Majestic mattress. So I'm going to take you into our factory right now. Uh, this is at our Sioux Falls location. We have two locations currently, Sioux Falls and Fargo. Uh, this is our factory. We are actually a mattress factory. We're not just a retail store. Uh, we don't just buy and sell Sealy, Serta, Simmons beds or other brands, Tempur-Pedic, what have you. We actually make all our mattresses right here. You can see our showroom out there. Uh, but back here is where the real work is done. This is where we manufacture the mattresses. And so what Pat's doing here, we're starting, this is our coil system that we use in the Majestic. It's a very good pocketed coil system made by Agro in Germany. Uh, that's where we get all of our pocketed coils. Agro in Germany, here's some of them stacked up here. We ship them 5,000 miles to get here because they're the best in the world. At Comfort King, we make the highest quality mattresses on the planet. Now, Pat, why don't you tell us what you're doing here? Yeah, what this is, is this a, a water-based adhesive. I put it on the outer perimeter of each coil. So when we put the sitting edge, the foam rail that goes around the mattress, that's where it bonds together and makes a nice sitting edge for your mattress. All right, now we've got, this is the top of the mattress. As you can see, we've got our lumbar pad in. This is a firming pad that when glued down, just adds a little bit of extra firmness to the surface. And in our mattresses, we, we target the heaviest part of the body, which is the middle, and that's where people have lower back issues. And so we add a little bit of extra support down there. Not something you're ne gonna necessarily feel, but it's gonna do a better job of just supporting you overall. Uh, so now what he's doing, Pat's laying down a layer of our water-based adhesive for our first comfort layer, which is uh, Square Flex. And we're really proud of this material because over the years we've just kept improving our mattresses every year, and this is definitely an improvement. Uh, we're using less polyurethane foam in the mattress simply because beds aren't flippable, people sleep in the same spot every night. And polyurethane is the weak link in the mattress. Coils are made of steel. Steel is stronger than foam. So we used to use foam in the Majestic as a cushion. And we do use, we do use another layer of foam in here. But the softer foam is what we replaced in here. It used to be an inch and a half of convoluted foam. And uh, we've replaced it with an inch and a half of this little mini coil, which in a queen has a total of 800 individually pocketed coils in there. And that gives you the same comfort and softness of a piece of foam, but it's going to hold up a lot better, be a lot more durable. And that's what we're going for. We, you know, we put a warranty on our mattresses, but warranties don't really cover loss of firmness. And that's what happens with foam. They get loss of firmness in the, in the sleep zone where you lay all the time. So what we know is by using more steel and less foam, our beds are going to hold up longer. So the great thing about the Majestic too is it's, Still priced at an amazing $6.98 for a queen set. And that's going on uh, probably over eight years now we've had a bed priced at that, at the Majestic. And it's just a really good value, a really comfortable mattress for $6.98 for a queen set. As he's doing that, uh, the next layer to go, go down when we come back is going to be a one inch flat foam. Uh, we also call it a support foam. And that's just going to give a little more softness on top and then it's going to be our stretch fabric. All right, now the next comfort layer to go down is a one inch flat foam. It's a 1.8 pound density foam. And what Pat is doing right now is applying a little bit of can adhesive underneath the, the foam so it doesn't move around and it stays in place. Now we use two different kinds of glue here. We use the can glue, which is using now. That's more of a temporary non-permanent glue and then we use our water-based glue which is a, in a gravity fed system in a box up there uh, water-based glue is much stronger uh, but it's more of a permanent bond so if, for example when when we put this mini coil down we water-based glued that and then when we glue our foam rails to the main coil uh, we water-based glue that too it's it's odor free it's healthier for us and everyone involved and it's more uh, durable 
most of our competitors are, are using just canned glue because it's easier. Uh, using a water-based glue costs a little bit more, a little more maintenance. We gotta, you gotta clean this glue gun uh, every few days. Gets clogged up, but it is better. But in this case, we don't wanna do permanent glue underneath this layer because if anybody ever wanna do a comfort adjustment to this mattress, which means maybe they wanna make it firmer, maybe they wanna make it softer, well, we might need to remove this layer of foam down the road. So if we ever need to do that, we don't want that to be a permanent bond. So the last step after this is to put our bottom cover on, which we've already sewn up on that sewing machine over there. Um, and that'll wrap around, that's the bottom non-stick fabric. It wraps around the border, comes up here, and then we're going to sew our top fabric to that. All right, now the last step is we got our stretch fabric. It's an eight-way fire retardant stretch fabric. It stretches really nice. You can feel the materials under there. And the last step here is to sew these two pieces together, close it up. And for that, we use a tape edge machine. And it's a nice finished edge. And that is the Majestic.